Guys, this is Ricky on Days of Noah. And uh, I have here with me my friend, Nastasia. All right, so she will be talking about a very um, interesting subject to give us a little pointer uh, of what the Bible uh, talk about. And Nastasia, what's the other subject you want to talk about today? Well, I want to talk about our high calling. Um, it's about us striving to become like Christ. Um, it was actually inspired by a Bible text, and in, which is found in Philippians. And that's where I got the title for our Bible, for our Bible study today. Okay, mm -hmm. and why did you name the title of this Bible study Our High Calling? I named it Our High Calling because um, it is a very high calling because it is not natural for us to be like Christ and that's what the high calling is for us to be just like Christ and to have the mind of Christ. So because it's not a natural thing, I call it a high calling. Well, the Bible actually calls it a high calling because it's not something that we do or that is second nature to us. Okay, and when you mean high calling, like to be like Christ, are you really saying like somebody can be perfect or can can someone really be, per be perfect? Yes, yeah, someone can be perfect. They can be perfect in Christ though. It's not something, and the way that um, perfection is viewed is not necessarily like how some people say it is, I'll never make any mistakes or I'll never, or you won't have little falters in between the time. It doesn't mean that. It means that you are constantly striving to be like Christ and your will is so tied up with him that you become like him, which is Christ, how Christ was when he walked the earth. You're just basically, what you're doing is you're walking like Christ walked while he lives on the earth. Okay. Um, so, talking about that, does that mean like you're a robot and you will never make any mistake? Like, go a little bit further. Um, no, it doesn't mean that you're a robot and that you'll never make mistakes. I think a lot of times the misconception is if I am perfect, then I have to be like a robot or, you know, I'm moving around and I don't make any mistakes. I'll never say the wrong thing. But that's not what Christ is calling for us to be. Um, what he's telling us that we should do is we should be like him. However, while being like him, we also have character defects that we are still dealing with. Okay. And along the road, as we're walking by him, he will help us to overcome them. Okay. So, so how, like, I mean, we live in a sinful world. Mm -hmm. And how do I become perfect in such a sinful world? With all this sin in myself, around us, like, how do we do that? Um, by abiding in Christ. And abiding in Christ means that I'm constantly maintaining a constant fellowship with him. So that means I'm praying, I'm reading his word. As I'm walking at school, I'm thinking on him. That's how you maintain your relationship with him and that's how you become like him in this simple world. Because you're not supposed to be taken out of the world. You're just gonna be here with him, living well, fellowshipping with him. Okay, mm -hmm. like is being perfect something that I will know? Like I will know at a point saying like, damn, I'm perfect. Like how does that go? Well, you know, it's funny that you say that because um, Job was declared to be perfect by God, but he didn't know. Okay. So the answer that I would have to give you is no, you won't know. And as you are looking at your, as you are continuously looking at Christ, you will not feel like you are perfect. You will always feel a sense of unworthiness. Why? Because when you look at the perfect image, you're going to be like, wow, I'm nothing like this. So you will be constantly striving to become like him. Okay. I really like all the things we talk about. And some people may be asking the question, like now some of our viewers, uh, if that's the goal, mm -hmm. that's a pretty high calling. Now, how do I maintain a relationship with Christ? You know, I think it goes back to what I was saying before: is um, maintaining that relationship with Christ means that you're constantly walking with Him. Okay. And like we said before, walking with Him means to read His Word, to talk about Him. It's almost like you're talking to a friend. A lot of times, when we think about maintaining. Our relationship with Christ is always something that is second nature. We're like, how does someone do that? But if you really think about a friend, how do you maintain a relationship with a friend? You constantly text them. True. You constantly call them. You constantly um, maintain, let them know even the little things that go on in your day. And it's the same thing with Christ. If we want to maintain a relationship with him, then what has to happen is we have to treat him like a friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's actually, I have to say I really like the topic today. Uh, it's something for our friends out there to, to understand that the Christian life it is really a high calling. Yes, it is. And based on what you say, you know, I think that without Christ, there is no way we will make it. No, not at all. Okay. Well, Anastasia, I'm so I'm happy. I was happy for you to be here today. Mm -hmm. And I uh, can't wait for, to have you again next time. <laughs> okay? No problem. Any last word for the viewer? 
Um, yes, even though like we've been talking about is a high calling, it's one that you can do. God will never give you more than you can bear. So if he's going to tell you that you are to be like him, he's going to provide every means. It doesn't matter what circumstance or what situation you are in, he will provide you with the opportunity to become like him. So never forget that. Okay, you guys hear that? Start on praying. God bless. Thank you, Assassin. <laughs> Thank you, Ray.